do that. I'm trying to do a challenge, but there's no enough. I've only got four. Wait, what mushrooms are out here? I thought I seen some. It was just a butterfly, though. No, I found one, and I used it. Mm. Consume foraged items. <laughs> Shit. coming at you from the Generations Minecraft Realm server here on a Friday night. It's Friday night. It's about 8.30 here on the West Coast. And we're going to do a little bit of Minecrafting tonight. Uh, probably going to do a lot of Minecrafting tonight. Uh, start a little bit later on at about 8.30 or so. Uh, so we may run about maybe a two-hour stream tonight. We'll see what's going on. But if you look behind me, the land has been filled in. But you know what else has happened? Since we filled in some land that wasn't Mushroom Island land, that is ocean biome, mobs have been spotting. Yes. So our days of mob-free building are officially over, everybody. <laughs> and so one of the very first things I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a little bit of sandstone over there to mark where the ocean biome is. And you can see one of my iron golems has been working very hard and doing his job and is looking a little anemic there and uh, possibly needs a little bit of an iron supplement. So let, let's go help him out because he's been doing a good job here. Protecting me while I'm opening the stream. <laughs> Come here, dude. Ah, so much better. <laughs> Gotta support my troops, everybody. Gotta support my troops. Okay, so, like I said, one of the very first things I'm going to do 
is I'm going to get some sandstone and I'm going to mark the area that is uh, not mushroom island biome that is filled in here. And yeah, see, there's been some mobs spawning out here. And that's a little bit on the dangerous side. And so when we build our trading hall, we're going to have to keep that in mind. And so we're going to have to do some lighting. And we are ready to lay the foundations of the uh, trading hall. We've been waiting forever to do this, it seems. It feels like that to me, anyway. And uh, let me see. I am also going to need uh, a significantly less OP shovel here so I can do a little bit of control without blowing huge craters into the ground with every, with every swipe of my shovel here because it's so strong. Um, and uh, I'm going to need to turn on my debug screen, and I'm sorry about that, but I have to look at the blocks here, and I have to try to decide which ones are ocean biome and which ones are not. So there's mushroom field, mushroom field shore. And you can see where, oh, 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 see right there. Okay. And let's see, ocean, ocean. Ooh, a little too much there, Thunder, a little too much. Calm down, dude, calm down. Okay, so see, this is all ocean biome. That means uh, but even though it's covered with mycelium, uh, bad guys can spawn here and cause problems. Okay, and now we're back into Mushroom Island Fields right here, so I can put that back in there. And let's see what happens over here. Let's see if there's anything over here. I, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good right there. Okay, good. Uh, let's move over here a little bit. Let's, ah, see? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That ticket. See what's going on over here. All right, and uh, also let's refresh the chat window here. It doesn't seem to be catching up with me right now. Okay, now we're in business. All right. Keep my audio down there because my audio is indeed working, is it not? Oh, yeah, it's working. Working like a charm, as we say in Oops. Okay, so see, that's Mushroom Field Shore. You can see right where it says Biome there on the uh, lower left. Okay, let's get up into here. And that's Mushroom Field Shore. That's also Mushroom Field Shore. This is not. This is Ocean uh, Mushroom Field Shore. Okay, Ocean right here. And you know what? Sometimes I... Sometimes. I, I like to outline the biomes here like this sometimes. Yeah, see, I'm using the OP shovel. That's my problem. There we go. Because uh, it makes some interesting shapes and stuff. Oops. Okay, right to there. Oh, that one's going to go. Or maybe not. Maybe not. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Ocean. Ocean is right here. Dig away here until we hit Mushroom Field Shore. Right there. I think we're good, right? Right, right, right. And then over to here. And you know, we got to be careful. You know, this seems like it's a fairly rectangular shape. But there might be little spots, little blocks here and there on which things can spawn. And so we have to be careful there. Yeah, this is good. What about right here? This is ocean, uh, mushroom field. Oh, see? Now that's open ocean. See how it extends back out right there? But it does not right here. Okay, so we're going to have to make sure that's the careful thing to get the shape of this thing right. And again, you know, this isn't super critical. You know, it, this is just for reference here. Okay, see how it's changing shape? Okay, no, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, isn't that weird? Oh, that's kind of strange. And so this actually changes, yeah, in, a, in the Y direction, it changes biome. Really weird. I've never seen that before. I wonder how higher up it goes. Yeah, it does. 
boy that's really strange i've never seen a volume change in the y before it's always in the x or the z first time i've ever seen that okay well that's a little misleading then i'm gonna have to be careful with that now that adds a whole new dimension to the game no pun intended What may be ocean biome down here may not be up there and vice versa. But that's okay as long as things can't spawn, right? That, that's what we need to think about. Yeah, see, it's mushroom yields shore down here, but not up there. Up there, it's ocean biome. Okay, how about right here? Mushroom field, mushroom field, ocean. Right here. And actually, we're moving quite a ways in. Ooh, and it's going to be nighttime soon, everybody. Okay, we're good there. Mushroom field, sure. Ocean like this. Mushroom field, sure. Okay, we need to sleep right away because I don't want any mobs spawning. Oh, this is like the early game I remember now. There we go. Hey, Bubble of... Bu uh, let me see, Bloodroom Force is here. Awesome. How are you doing on a Friday night, man? And like I say, I always like to type over in the chat just to make sure that they know that I have seen them. Hey there. How's it going, Blubs? Check it out, man. Made some major progress here. Doing good. What about you? Not, not bad. Not too bad tonight. Oh, we moved outward here in the in the ocean a little bit. Ocean biome. Okay, so right now I'm just trying to identify the ocean biome blocks here. And let me see, what happens when I do this? And I made an amazing discovery that biomes can change in the Y as well as the X and the Z. And I've, I didn't know that before. happens if I go up yeah see it changes the ocean biome if I go up isn't that weird huh okay so this is ocean biome no no Ooh, that is too okay so I'll move over there and I'll go get some of that Now see on this level, on level on level 64, it's Mushroom Island. But if I go up, it's on level 65. Same block, but level 65 now. Well, one block higher, right? It's uh, ocean, so it changes. That's really weird. That is so weird. Okay, so uh, that being said, I'm gonna make sure that I fill this in and I'm filling this in with a different material just to cue myself so I know what blocks to look out for I mean this is going to wind up being under the the trading hall anyway which I prefer to call the chamber of commerce but uh because I like to name things my own things and stuff much as I admire the hermits and stuff I I like to have a little bit of originality if I can. That's weird. Yeah, that is weird, huh? You know what, though? I like that I can still learn things in Minecraft, though. That's one of the things I like about this game. You know, you can never know it all. Can never know it all, Lila. 
that and Les is you can never know it all. That's one of the reasons why I allow uh, so-called uh, backseat gaming too. I don't know how to do all of this stuff. And so when you guys contribute, you know, like I said, I don't always promise I'll do uh, as you guys suggest, but uh, but I, I still learn a lot of stuff. Yeah, see, so that's all ocean, that's all ocean uh, biome right there. At least it is on this layer on 65. And so come nighttime, this is where the mobs are going to spawn, so i got to be careful here. Okay, see, I'm good there, but that's ocean, right? You know, this is a good thing to know that biomes can change in the Y. It's a good thing to know for um, uh, building mob farms, especially the drowned farms that, that are built over rivers. Hmm, that's a good thing to know. That is a good thing to know. Now it's got me thinking I should start my uh, making my Let's Play uh, video series. <laughs> Ah, see, on this layer, this is Mushroom Field Shore. So this one I'm actually good with, right? I can leave that like that. Let's see, yeah, see, this is all good on this layer. Okay, that's where it changes, right there. So see how it, it's mushroom field here and then it's ocean there. Wow, that is so weird. But we learned something new, didn't we? Okay, we're doing, we're doing well. But look, this is all ocean biome right in here. stand and then at the same time yeah see it's a little bit weird but again you know I'm reclaiming ocean here on which to build because you know I don't want to take too much of the land out there to build I want to leave that for players I'm such a good guy aren't I field in the Y, yeah. Mushroom field in the Y, yes. Oh, that one's ocean. Okay. Now we're getting down into some pretty narrow places. Ooh, see like on this layer, this one is ocean. Whoa, that one's ocean on this layer, too. Ooh, and so isn't that. <laughs> How about here? This one's ocean, too. So isn't that. Wow.
Wow, I'm actually getting very, very close over there. That's, uh, that's a little disturbing. <laughs> that means uh, bad guys could spawn all over this stuff. And so that's, that's also one of the reasons why I'm lighting, um, I'm identifying it like this with a different material. Then I know what needs to be lit up while I'm building. Oh, yeah, see? Now, I'm sure there's a mod that I can use for this. <laughs> Logical Geek Boy or Il Mango, one of those guys has a mod for this, I'm sure. Ray Works, one of those guys has it. Wow. This is really interesting. I think it is anyway. Such a nerd. I'm just going to outline it here. Let's go right along the edge. Yeah, we're, we're almost right next to the road here, so I don't expect we're going to find anything there. See, the sun's just about to go down too, so... This is ocean here. Look at this. Oops. Okay, sun's about to go down. We don't want any mobs spawning, so we need to sleep. <laughs> Definitely. All right, and of course, my practice is every time I sleep, I do a little stream refresh. There we go. Make sure I'm not missing anything. And then we're back at it. Fuck. Wow. Wow, we're getting awfully close to the road right there. <laughs> Really, this close to the road? You're kidding! Wow, that gets that close to the road. Son of a gun! Okay, so that's clear. What about here? Mushroom field, sure of that. <laughs> All right, tedious work here. it. I'm out of sand for a little bit. So you can see we're building a pretty interesting sh shape here to let us know where the spawn areas are. This will all be under the trading hall when we're done, but uh, it'll give us an idea of where, where we need to apply some caution I've said it before, cowardice is not in our inventory. But you know what? Uh, caution is. Caution is. Nothing wrong with a little caution. Okay, I'm going to see if there's any sand down at this end here. 
can't remember if I left any sand in these chests. I may have to go on a quick little sand run. Yeah, we may have to go get some. Not a lot, though. Probably one trip will do it. Because we're not actually not going to have a lot. So let's, I'll tell you what, let's get, let's check out the view from on high here. Look at the cat. Uh, the cat sees some sand, and of course, what does it want to do? Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's a pretty weird shape. But that's where the ocean is going to encroach in upon the mushroom island biome. And so that's, we're going to have to keep that in mind as we're building and make sure that that stays lit and, or carpets down or something like that as we're, as we're going about our building. But you can see we did quite a bit of work. Oh my God, does that look hideous? We have to do something about that. But uh, you can see where we're getting our biome outlined right there. So, all right, let's take a little trip. Let's take a little trip. Let's envy up. Envy. <laughs> yeah. Green with envy. No, let's empty out our inventory a little bit. That's why I said envy. I'm contracting the words uh, empty and inventory into the same, uh, smashing them together in the same collision of words. All right, let's do that. Let's put our bed up over here. I'm going to keep the sand in the inventory right there for right now. Okay, uh, a little bit of, yeah, okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. All right, let's go take a little bit of a trip here. How are we doing time-wise? Already doing it. Oh, I'm so slow. I'm so slow. All right, now let's put the boat down this time, not the bed. And you know what? Since I'm getting sand, I can just go due east and... The moment I hit the shore, I'm good. There's quite a large desert here east of me. In which I can get tons and tons of sand. Now we've got these beautiful little islands here, but I don't want to devastate these places. I want to keep these places for builders. Like this little island might make a nice base. It's a wee bit. It's a bit small, though. Yeah, that's a bit small, but I suppose somebody could build a little base there. I mean, here's a bigger. Well, this may not even be an island. This may be part of the landscape. Yeah, it is. All right, this is a peninsula out here, and this is this is where we can get a lot of sand right out here. All right, the moment I beach my boat here. I'm going to have to do a be right back because I think I can hear Kachi at the door right now. All right, let's go give this a whack. And I'll be right back.
And I'm back, just in time, because I see a drown down there. And I don't think he has a trident for me. Trident too? Wouldn't happen to have a trident, you know. Really. Come on. How about your friend right here? Look at him sneaking up behind me here. Trident, maybe? I know I don't have the looting three of my I, I understand, but... Okay, well, let's take a nap, shall we? There's probably all kinds of mobs spawning back on the uh, Mushroom Island in that area of which I was speaking, uh, outlining with sandstone. No tridents. Ugh. So you know what this means, right? We're going to have to scale up with some uh, weapons here. Okay, but first, we are here to get ourselves some sand, everybody. And I'm not going to devastate this beautiful hill here. I'm going to devastate that somewhat less beautiful hill right over there. <laughs> but you know what? This is going to kill our shovel. So we're probably going to have to repair our shovel on the way back. On the way back. No, when we get back. Because uh, this tends to do quite a number on the old shovel. And look, we got Mr. Husk over there. I uh, think he's going to cause some trouble here. Well, I've got news for you. And I've just got a plain old iron sword here. I don't really have any sort of enchantments on it at all. Early game combat, everybody. We don't really need this stuff in our inventory. And I know some of you are probably going nuts because of chucking it, but not really needed right now. This is what we need. This stuff right here. Not so much a little cactus that we want. We don't even, we even really need that right now. We need to bring a little sand back to Mushroom Island Central. So sorry about the little interruption there earlier. Hachi was in taking a shower and then, you know, the shower knobs get old. You know, one of them broke off, so I had to do a little bit of bubba repair in there. And I had to install the spare one, so. But you know what, I may start by the hardware store tomorrow. Get some nice upgrades for that. I don't think that the design that we have for that is very good. You know, I have to replace those like every maybe three years or so. So the design just isn't good for them. I'd rather have something that looks less nice but functions better. Why? Because I'm an engineer. That's why. Function over form. That's what. That's what I always say. I don't care if it looks a little bit dull or crappy, not so decorative. I mean, I like it to look nice and neat, but uh, I don't care if it looks decorative or not. You know, does it work? Is it clean? Does it work well? Will it last? Does it have longevity? That's what I care about. Got 
let's get this chunk out of here. Well, it's just going to get back in there anyway, isn't it? chuck them over the side here where they'll be out of my way forever and ever and ever. Bye bye. Don't really need cactus yet. No, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. But if I do need cactus, I know where to come, right? Ooh, what's down in here? Now we have to be careful. This could collapse out from underneath us. Ooh, there's an Indian. Look, he's buried in the sand there. See him? I wonder if he's stuck there. Well, he can teleport away, right? I wonder what happens if we drop a sand block on him. I can do something like this, I think. Oh! Now, I wonder if he thinks, if he regards that as an attack. I don't think he does, because that's, I didn't strike him with my body or a weapon, so I think I'm good. Oh, look, there he is. He's being annoying. Because that's what Endermen do. They're annoying and extremely lethal way. <laughs> Man, do they have the attack points, huh? Okay, bunny. Out of the way. A man at work here. close to the water's edge there just in case that Enderman changes his mind. Decides to engage in hostilities with your, yours truly here. I can just go jump in the water. I'm going to be careful here though. I don't think I would want to end up down there unplanned. <laughs> end up down there against my will. <laughs> no thanks. I'll pass. Pass for now. Okay, you know what? We might have enough sand. Oh, yeah, we're doing well here. You know what? I, I'm not even going to bother filling up those other uh, inventory slots. I think I have more than enough here. Let's head on home, shall we? We should just head due west, and I think we'll be fine. Due west and a little south. Look at that Enderman. I can hear him right behind me. Well, there's something about water, though, that I think you guys don't particularly care for water too much, do you? Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need to go a little bit south, but not much. Oh, yeah. There's a shipwreck down on the water there. Oh, so we just got a... We just went and got ourselves a follow, I believe. Which is very, very cool. And for some reason I can't see it on the screen when I when I do um, when I do uh, streamlabs. But take the fourteen, Thundercats. <laughs> yeah. The Thundercats reference. My younger son, uh, Kachi, watches the, the, the new Thundercats show. He likes it. So, hey, take the 14. Welcome, man. Oops. <laughs> I went and jumped out of my boat. Oh, I can see the mushrooms of Mushroom Island Central. And we're back, everybody. Back from our sand gathering mission. You know, uh, I haven't really been watching that Thundercats show with Kaji, though. I just pass by it every now and then. I just pass him by when I'm, uh, you know, heading on into the kitchen or something. He's watching it on TV. I still think I remember their all their names, though, from the... Uh, I do not have a... Oh, okay. All right. So take the 14. Uh, where are you from? So you might you might be able to read or listen English, right? I assume. Let's see, have English. Oh, okay. But 
that, my friend, looks Spanish to me. I can't speak too much Spanish. But, um... Oh, from Peru. Oh, okay. My, both my sons can speak Spanish, though. Latino America. <laughs> we are from uh, Southern California, so there's a lot of Spanish and Portuguese speaking people here. Yeah. Color of Latin America, please. Uh, me, I don't go down there. I pretty much stay stay where my home is. I let people do what they want in peace, and I pretty much stay here. Oops. There we go. Let's get ourselves some, 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 some. There we go. It's really how they paint it in the movies. No, it's not. It's not. California is actually a pretty, pretty hard place to live right now. Fires all the time. A lot of fire. And everything is very, very expensive here. And you don't get much for your money here. There are worse places to live, though. There are, but uh, this is a good place. But uh, it's it's tough, though. It is not like the movies at all. And I know what you mean. Uh, I'm not from California. I'm actually from uh, from the from the northeast U.S. I'm from uh, New England, and so I moved here in 2003. And so I, I always thought, like you too, uh, is it like the movies out here? And no, it's not. No, it's not. Ooh, we need to sleep quickly. We need to sleep. Latin America is very scandalous. Too much crime. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. But you know what? This The crime is everywhere. Crime is everywhere. There's a lot of corruption. There's a lot of crime here too. I'm not quite sure it's as open. You see it as much every day, like you you may in some Latin American countries, maybe. But I have to rely on people like yourself to tell me about it because I don't go down there that often. And you know what? I don't like to speak about places that I don't go to. I don't like to make assumptions. I, that's one of the reasons why I like to have the chat and I like to meet people like yourself because if I'm going to uh, uh, make a conclusion about a place that I haven't been to, I like to listen to the people who live there. That, that's really important, I think. Because you can't always trust what you read or what you see on TV or in movies, right? It's better to talk to the people who actually live there. there's any ocean over here no ocean blocks over here so what I'm doing right now is I'm replacing I'm marking out where the ocean biome is I'm doing that with sand and so that way I know where the where the mobs will spawn and where I have to light up pretty sure this is all ocean right in here there shouldn't be any mushroom island biome in here Yes, but here you are. And if you are a friend of these, they don't do anything to you. Wow, Hollywood cheated on me. <laughs> don't ever trust what you see in Hollywood. Hollywood is good stories, good stories, but they are just that. They're stories. There are nice things in California too, but there's a lot of very not nice things here. 
like fires. There are fires all the time here. A lot of inequality here, too. A lot of inequality. Okay, so that area right over there is ocean biome that we've reclaimed, and so we got to be a little careful with that. Uh, let me see. But here in the morning, it's time for me to go to sleep. Take care, bro. I like chatting with you. Keep it up. Bye. All right. Hey, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hey, come on back anytime, all right? I really like meeting people from all over. All right, let's do this. Let's have ourselves a little look, and I think I've outlined that area well. And you know what? I think it's I think it's really time to start building. And so I need to look away for a moment because I have my build um, that I made. I designed it in creative mode, and then I took a couple of screenshots of it, and I posted it on our Discord. So I need to actually go back to our Discord and get some dimensions for it so at least I can start putting it together. Uh, one of the things I was thinking on doing though is I, I put this really annoying looking strip of coarse dirt here and I thought that that would look really cool. Guess what? It does. I don't think it looks cool. <laughs> so I'm going to take this out <laughs> because I think it looks awful. And uh, I'm going to replace it with the old mycelium. Or I might replace it with something else. I don't know. We'll see. And let's see. Let's, let's put this stuff back in the chest. And we can go bring some dirt back into the old inventory over here. Inventory is actually getting pretty full here with the... It's probably more sand than I need. But I can use it for other things too. Good. Done. Um, let's go take some dirt back. We use a little bit of dirt. We don't need that much, though. Okay, so let's do this. That should blend in a little bit better. Yeah, and look, this terrible grass is spreading over here into our mycelium, and I don't like that. <laughs> it looks awful. People think the mycelium looks bad, and I don't know. That grass looks terrible. I don't know why. It just seems awful looking to me. Okay, so like I said, I need to jump away and look into my Discord for just a moment. I think I'm going to be safe here. It should only take a couple of minutes. <laughs> Let's, let's check it out. And I need to get some dimensions here from my Discord. All right, let me see. Let's take a look. Ah, here we go. Here's some trading hall pictures. This is good stuff. But you know what? I don't have that standard front view that I need. Maybe I can do a block count from here. All right, so I know I'm going to need at least, what, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13. That's a good number, right? Okay, a uh, block in the middle and then 11 on each side. Okay, we can do that. So block in the middle and then 11 on each side. So if I were going to center this, I could center it here on 50. This looks pretty good, actually. Let's just go stick that right there and let's see what happens. 
All right. Um, and then I would go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's where the main hall is going to end. And then let me see. At this end of things will be a bubble vader. Okay. And then I said what? Um, I think it's going to be 13. 13 is 26, and 1 is 27. It should be 27 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, it's going to go out to here. This is where the edge was, I believe. Oh, maybe not quite that far. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Wow, we actually have to go over more. Doesn't seem right. All right, so I'm going to look off again, and I'm going to count my uh, count my blocks, and see what I have here. Uh, it looks like to me. That with a step out front. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay. Oh, because I counted the blocks with a road. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I'm good now. Good. I counted these three blocks too with my width. All right. And so it does go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, like this. And so the edge of the building is going to go up to here. All right. And so the side of our building would cut into King Coe's Mountain over there. Okay. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do, though, right away is I'm going to lay down some torches right around here. I think you know why. Because that is now mob. That is now mob ground right there. I'll put something right about there. A little something right about here, 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 and here, and here. Am I going to say here when I plant every one of these torches? Yeah, I probably, I probably shall. Okay, this might do it. This might do it. This might protect us. <laughs> this might protect us. And you know what? I might wait here and I might actually see. I might not go to sleep right away straight away. I might wait here and see if anything spawns. The true test. I think we'll be okay. As far as the center goes, remember, I'm trying to trying not to knock down King Ko's Hill up here. <laughs> I'm really trying not to do that. And I think we're going to be okay there. Now, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think we're going to be all right. But our trading hall is, ooh, 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 wait, what do we have over here? Ooh, I see a little spidey right there. Look at him, he wants to come over here and start some trouble. Look at him. Whoa! That arrow went harmlessly through him. <laughs> there we go. You know, that's been happening with the bow lately, you know. I unload an arrow right into a mob, and then guess what? It passes harmlessly through them. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay, I think we're okay. I think we've restored safety to the... Um, well, I thought I saw a flash of red over here. Was that just the top of that mushroom? I think it was. Okay, I think we restored a little bit of safety to the island. Actually, quite a bit of safety to the island. <laughs> so we think we're good enough to take a nap here. My bed's too far away, everyone. You're so far away. All right, let's do a little screen refresh right here. All right. I think we're doing well here. Okay. Now, like I said, you know, I, I don't want the trading hall to actually cut into Kinko's Hill up here. I'm trying to keep that, and I don't want to wipe it out. <laughs> There's a zombie under the ground here somewhere, too, and I can't quite hear where he is. I know he's under here somewhere, right about here, and he's driving me nuts. <laughs> He's right in here somewhere. Oh, we got ourselves some iron. We are supposed to be laying down the foundation finally, and blah, blah, I made such a big deal out of it, and I'm getting sidetracked by things like zombie noises. me a little bit bad either. I'm probably going to regret coming out here after. <laughs> not bringing any torches with me? No, I have torches. I have torches. Come on, I'm not that much of a noob. Oh, he's getting louder. Ah, he's probably right up in there, huh? Ooh, there he is. Yeah, he is right there, isn't he? <laughs> All your little silly friends are right in here too. Where is there a creeper who's gonna drop down on top of me now or something? Is that what it is? All right. Let's light this all up in here. We're right under the spawn dais, so. Ouch. up here there we go that's a little bit better that ought to quiet things down <laughs> oops that ought to keep the peace down here good okay back to work peace has been restored <laughs> keep going like this because I keep looking over at the chat but I forget the cameras right there <laughs> uh, let's get rid of some of this and let's unload some of that uh, let's go put that in the old furnace then we'll get back to it oh got a little XP there. the jingle jangle of XP everyone Okay, so my idea was originally, you know, to put the Chamber of Commerce over here and put the hotel over here because I liked the view over here for the hotel. 
Not much of a view on this side per se. Not really. Okay, so uh, I, I need to take a quick peek again for some dimensions. Uh, let's do that. Okay, we have what? Center block and 11 out from each side. So that's uh, 11, 11 is 22, so 23 blocks. So 23 blocks, right? So I could do something like this. Uh, let's move down about 10 more blocks like this. That's on 50 there. I could put my center block right here on 60, like this. One, two, three, like that. I could put my center block there. And then I can go 11 out on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right there. And I think I like how that's looking. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right there. So the trading hall would be located right about here. This is good, I think. I think this is good. That leaves some of the ocean biome here, which is a little precarious, all right? But I think we're okay. And then it will leave this place for the bubble vader space, uh, facing out that way. We'll have a little bit of area around here, maybe for some small shops and stuff. Ooh, and get rid of that horrible grass and things like that. And I think we can preserve pretty much Kinko's uh, hill up there, which I, I really like that. I like that. I want to keep that up there. Although I don't know if I'll keep it exactly that shape. Yeah, it's pretty grim looking. <laughs> but, however, I would like to keep that up there if I could. And so I think I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to go with this. All right, we're going to need some materials now. That means we're going to need to do some mining. And, and, and. That means we're going to need a bunch of chests. And I think we're going to put these chests right about here. Yes, indeed, I do. And we're going to have to replace our shovel while we're at it. Let's get the debug screen down. We don't need that. And and let's start let's start laying out some foundations. We're going to need uh, some diorite, and then we're going to need to go into the Nether, everybody. And that's going to be some scary stuff. And that means gearing up. We're going to have to get some um, splash potions, uh, fire resistance. Uh, we're going to have to get some pretty heavy-duty armor and some things like that because we need to go resource gathering. Resource gathering, everybody. That's what we're going to have to do. I'm excited, though. I'm excited. We're getting things underway. Okay, let's do some trading and let's repair this shovel. I'm going to put that in the offhand just like that. And you know what? We may start stacking up some more librarians and getting some more armor. Uh, trades in our librarian books now. And that means harvesting some melons. Do a little melon trade. Because we have a melon-powered economy, everybody. But I'm excited that we're going to be laying down the foundations of our Chamber of Commerce. This is our first official building. I mean, these are only temporary buildings over here, but this is our first build, our first real build. Although these things here are all temporary early game things. But we're going to need a lot of basalt, and that's going to be pretty dangerous. That means excursions into the nether, everybody, and that, wow. We've got another fortress right, right near our portal, everything, so... As soon as I get enough farmers, uh, that third layer up there that is currently wheat and carrots, uh, we can convert that over into one more layer of melons. And uh, then we'll get three layers of this stuff going and we'll be able to do some mega trading. Already we can do some pretty heavy duty trading. Uh, and I have no more in the chest right now. Okay, well, fine, so be it. We'll make do with what we have. Now check this out now. I'll get the shovel in my off hand here. Now 
close the old XP. We just make our rounds. Like so. Right now, you know, we only need four melons to get an emerald, so we're doing pretty good, pretty good. Then later, when we convert these guys with the zombies and convert them back, it's one melon per emerald. And then when we get the pumpkin farm going, the automated pumpkin farm, one pumpkin per emerald, and the pumpkins are automatically generated. But that's it. That's really our run for melons right now. And look, we brought our shovel back almost entirely. Very, very close. If I could produce more melons, then I would be all set. And then I usually just take a quick run past just in case there's any straggler, straggling uh, XP hanging back. But I think I've got it all. Okay. And also, let's make sure, I think I went and I stuck my bed in the inventory and that was not a smart thing to do. Uh, in the inventory, I mean in the chest. Yeah, there we go. I need to keep that with me. We're going to lay the, down the first blocks First blocks, everyone, so we can get this dirt out of our inventory, I think. Um, yeah, because we have diorite steps, okay. <laughs> yes, I'm actually using diorite, believe it or not. But it actually doesn't look too bad against the mycelium and the colors of the Mushroom Island. It actually doesn't look too bad. And, you know, it's always a challenge to build with it because it look, it's such a crappy-looking block, it, literally. But, you know, if you know what you're doing, you can make it look good. And hopefully I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to find out. <laughs> All right, let's go to the other end and let's see if we have any. I think we do. And, hey, you know what? Before I run down there, though, let's grab some more torches because we may actually go mining some. grabbing some torches with which to go mining with which to bring mining is that what I'm trying to say yeah I think so you know what we may make some more librarians and we may make some more farmers uh, we need 16 farmers total and that's the minimum amount and then once uh, beyond 16 I don't really need need any more Actually, I think, you know, we have quite a bit of diorite already. It's good. We're freeing up some inventory space. Yeah, look at all this. We're doing well here. We're doing well. Let's go make the polished stuff first. That's what I'm talking about. And we're going to need quite a bit of the the diorite steps, actually. Yeah, that should do us. Do I have any more chests? Yeah, I have these two chests right here, and I think I'll set up a double chest down there. And I might even move this double chest and get this ridiculous thing out of the way and bring it down here where it's actually going to be of some use. I think a good place to place this would be right across the road right here. That way it's out of the way. Okay, I'm going to take a quick peek at my guide pick. Got it. something like this and something like that all right and then I did let me see like that 
Now I'm going to have to find some of those tall ferns and those grow in a taiga and I know where to get some of those. And I know where there's a taiga close by. Yes, I do. So maybe you guys just say taiga biome. When I say taiga, close, close to saying the same thing. Very similar sounding. Okay. And we need some coarse dirt in between. Did I do this right? I don't think I did. No, I didn't do it right, did I? It's supposed to be like that, I believe. Let's take a look. I should be right on target here. Yeah, yeah, I did this wrong. I placed this incorrectly. Hawk. Thunder. I mean, that was the whole point of measuring it out. That's okay, it's a quick fix. Like that, there we go. All right, so that's the main site. That's, that's, the, that's where it's gonna be, everybody. That's so cool, so cool. All right, and so I'm putting a little bit of the coarse dirt right here. take this out right here. Whoops. Went a little too aggressive there, o OP, OP pickaxe. Like that and like that. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. That's swell. Actually I've been alive long enough to remember uh, kids saying that when I was young. I think it's swell. Like that. Okay, reference pick. Got it. Okay, nailed it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, the next thing we need is, uh, oh dear, we need the salt, everybody. <laughs> we need the salt. Oh, that means going into the nether. That's going to be cool. We're going to have to do another trip. That means we're going to have to gear ourselves out for the nether. Uh, one thing we can do, though, is we can go to the Taiga biome right away, and we can go get some of the stuff right in here. Yep. What's it? Some of that stuff. Uh, we can also cut the path in into the road here, too. We could do that. Like this. And how did I do this? I broke this like this. Did a little of the cobblestone. Okay, that's good. We're gonna rig ourselves up with some cobble, and we'll fix that. Uh, we'll complete that part of the road where it comes in off of the road. That's good. That's great. That's fine. A little andesite to make some steps with, with which to make some steps. Oops. Getting a little hasty there. Cobblestone steps. Uh, polished inside blocks. That's handy. I think we're good. Sure. Okay. Support underneath. Like so. And then let's do a little bit of this. A little bit of this and a little bit of this. Like that. Now we're gonna have to bring the gutter over there. Oh, 
Okay. doing a lot of building at that end although we do do a lot of trading so I'll leave some of the chests there but time to go bring this up here I think because lord and howdy are we going to be doing a lot of building here <laughs> uh, here's our blocks let's do this and you know what we don't have to go nuts with the andesite steps a little bit will go a long way there okay I still have some stone steps. Future site of the Mushroom Island Central Chamber of Commerce, everyone. And sometimes, like I said, I like to pepper in the other materials like andesite stairs. I'll bring some of those over. Uh, stone stairs like that. That's good. But I think we're going to sleep first. It's going to be right there. It's so exciting. A little less exciting for you guys probably because uh, you don't have the vision of the future like I have right now. So unless some of you watched that creative mode stream I did where I was designing at least level one of the Chamber of Commerce. Then you guys got an idea. Of what I was building. You know what? I really ought to post some of those pics on the um, on the Discord. Okay, so this comes in off the street now. That's cool. The only thing is, you know, if I put the mycelium here, uh, we're going. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because um, because we're going to wind up with what? We're going to wind up with 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 with. Uh, what am I trying to say? Mobs will spawn here if I pull these away. Right? Yeah, I'm certainly not going to put grass there. That's going to look terrible. But I may think about putting something here, like maybe coarse dirt or something like that. All right. But speaking of which, we can now we can now just go to the taiga biome and go get our plants and we need one two three four five six seven eight nine we need ten of those ten of those and uh, you know that's a fun little trip you know it's not too far away it's right across the water we'll go bring some shears with us um let's let's get the shears let's do that i think i have some right in here yeah but you know what they're on their last legs there you know i made do I have any another pair around here somewhere? I don't think I do. Nope. We'll make a secondary pair. Let's head over here and then we'll jump on the boat, go take a little trip. You guys can get to see what's down south. Yeah. Let's drop off some of this. We certainly don't need all of that in our inventory while we're taking uh, taking our little trip. Okay, now we got to be careful passing over that way because uh, there's an ocean monument over there <laughs> full of guardians. They're not Guardians of the Galaxy type of Guardians. Uh, guardians like zap you with a Death Ray Guardians. Although, well, I guess both would do so. Uh, both are certainly capable. Yeah, that's right over there. Yeah, in fact, I can hear them cranking up their Death Beams. Right over there, huh? loud. 
but the taiga biomes right right over here so you can see uh, there's a little island there and then there's a peninsula of this forest biome that juts up and comes very very close to uh, connecting up with the mushroom island on the south end of it and again if you want to see a map uh, the color uh, generated uh, biome map uh, generated from chunk base uh, generated from the biome finder app uh, I did post it on the uh, Instagram Thunderhand64 underscore gaming uh, Instagram and you can go check that out that's how I'm navigating my way around here I'm just remembering what that looked like and it took a while for me to do that <laughs> I had to fumble around here for a little while until uh, I could pretty much uh, made the correlations between our biomes here, the, the landscape and the, and the map, the image of the map in my head. Now I've got it down, so I'm good. That taiga biome is down over here. Yeah, you, I think you can start to see the tops of the, there we go, the tops of the spruce trees are coming into view. And this is where we can find some of those tall ferns. In fact, I think I can see some right up there. But we're going to have to keep that bed right in the hot bar because uh, the moment that sun goes down, this place is going to be crawling with mobs. <laughs> Not the safest place in the map. Okay, here we go. This is what we're looking for. Let's get the bed in the hot bar just like we threatened we would. And <laughs> let's get the shears right over here. Okay, let's get some of these. Yeah, that's those. We need 10 of these suckers. We might get a little bit more, though, just to do some more decorations. And what about some sweet berries? Maybe some sweet berries would make good decorations, too. I don't know. I, I never even bothered to try them out in the um, biome, in the, um, what am I trying to say? In the creative mode world when I was designing. You see, I have 20. That's just ridiculous. I'm going to bring some of these back. Ouch! They're sharp with thorns, they hurt. Such a sweet pain. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to bring some of this back with me. Why not? But you know what? I just, we have a little bit of time. Oh, look at that beautiful scenery out there. That's nice. And especially this, this bay here. And Kachi and I, we built a base, I think, right on the other side of that bay. Oh, no, actually, it's over that way a little bit. Maybe. But a uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, landscape around here. So who knows? Maybe some of the players, the other players in the server might want to build something out here, a base. That would be really cool. Taiga Biome ba Base out here. Then you've got some, you've got some extreme hills over there close by so you've got that biome really cool although I haven't found any villages right out here in the taiga I haven't found any of the taiga villages there are some villages not too far from here going southward though but mm, you know n none that are right close by here what's this over here is this a wolf oh it's a little wolf cub it's a puppy You know what, I know I have things to do here on the server and promises to keep and stuff, but you know what, I've, sometimes I just like to roam around and have a look about. You know, it's fun. Exploring is fun. One of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is just to roam and explore. And you know what, uh, since I've been streaming, you know, I've been so driven to get things done, you know, that I don't really do this too often. Not as often as I would like. Okay, I think this river leads out to the sea, so let's jump in and let's, let's paddle on back. Does this connect up with the sea? I think it does. Yeah, this is one of the few uh, few rivers in Minecraft that actually run down to the sea like it's like they're supposed to. Uh, looks nice, though. Looks nice out here. Somebody can build a nice base here. I'm going to have to switch to standing mode here. Let's check the time. Let's see what is it. Wow, it's almost 10 o'clock. 
And you know what? I think I think I'm gonna end the stream at about ten thirty tonight. I think I started the stream around eight thirty, so ten thirty that's good. I think a two hour stream that's plenty long. Do a little uh, stream window uh, refresh while we're at it. Because we're just tearing across the ocean doing nothing. <laughs> but we have to be careful for that ocean monument, which is not too far away here. So I'm going to flip on the coordinates a little bit just to make sure that I avoid it. <laughs> and it's going to be nighttime soon anyway. Oh, we might have to bunk right over right over here on the Yeah, there's the monument right there. We have we may have to bunk right here on this little island. Yeah, see, you can see it right over there. Just chock full of blazing guardians over there. Bump. Bump. There we go. I've still got a little ways to go before the sun goes down. Ooh, look, sweet berries, everyone. Now we play the waiting game. <laughs> let's, let's, I'm going to check out OBS Streamlabs a little bit and make sure that that's refreshed. Okay, just checking that out. Okay, that's good. Just doing our notifications, making sure that stuff is working. All right. Back to the game. And look, that sun's just about to set down. There we go. At some point now, we're going to have to, and in fact, that's probably what I'm going to wind up doing uh, on tomorrow's stream, our scheduled stream at, at noontime, tomorrow on Saturday. So uh, tonight, I may knock off a little bit early, and then off camera, I'll probably gear up, because that's kind of boring, and uh, <laughs> I'll do that off camera for you guys, I, I promise. And then uh, tomorrow for tomorrow's uh, scheduled stream at noon time here on the West Coast, here from the Generations Minecraft Realm server uh, with Kachi. Uh, Kachi will probably be with me tomorrow. And um, we'll take a trip into the nether to get that facility. Oops, it was the wrong direction, like this. It should be over here, right? Yeah, that's better. We've got a couple of patches of cold ocean out here, but most mostly we're surrounded by beautiful, beautiful, lukewarm and warm ocean um, coral reefs everywhere. It's it's really nice. This is a magnificent map. It's it's just so awesome. And here are the telltale mushrooms of Mushroom Island Central, everybody. Now I used lodestones on the on the uh, architecture of this as decorative blocks and so I'm going to have to get the crafting recipe for lodestone. Hmm. I haven't done that yet. Look at all me villagers everyone. All me farmers. All me librarians. <laughs> all right. Do a little bit of landscaping shall we? Now, if I remember, let me take a look at my guide here. Okay, I don't have any on the ends. They only go in betwixt, in between these. Let's see. Let's do this. And 
How come they're small? Do I have to grow them again with bone meal? Oh, they're going to change color. They're going to be much brighter. These might actually look much better here on the Mushroom Island than they do in the other biome. Well, let's put some bone meal on. Let's let's see if we can grow them into the taller variety. I think we I think we can. I think we can do it, everyone. Yeah, like that. Like that, and grow them into the taller variety, just like that. Okay, I'm liking the way that looks. Okay, so we're getting a bit of a start there, and then we need um, need a little bit of the lodestone here on the sides, a little bit of basalt. I think I need to do something about this right away, though. That looks so hideous. I may just wind up putting... You know what? I, I may just wind up putting the coarse dirt here for right now. Where is that? Where is that stuff? You know what? Maybe Podsel would look good there. Should have grabbed some when I was over in the <laughs> over in the Taiga, right? I should have grabbed some Podsel. Maybe that would have looked cool there. Oh, you know what? I put I put all that stuff over here, and you know, at the same time, I'm gonna grab these two extra chests, bring them over there as well. And yeah, see, I put the core story right here. There we go. You guys will just have to remind me that this is... Ocean biome right there. Yes, indeed it is. You know, I made eventually put some kind of fountain here in the front and that will also uh, keep the mobs from spawning right there we go okay that looks a little better than before and you know what I could just throw a torch there for right now I mean it looks like crap but okay a uh, couple of a couple of things we can do what can we do in the meantime? What can we do in the meantime, baby? Just wait and see. Yeah. Let's find out what it takes to make some lodestone. I think I'm going to need a compass and some iron. So I'm just looking it up in the Minecraft wiki right now because I've, I've never, never made it before. There we go. Like I said, I'm using it as a decorative block, so hopefully it's easy to make. <laughs> okay, chisel stone bricks. Oh, and a netherite ingot. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I won't be making that uh, anytime soon. But you know what I could do? I could use the uh, chiseled stone bricks just to place them down for right now and then when I get the netherite ingot which will actually be pretty soon believe it or not um, then I can replace them with the chisel stone bricks so let's do that so let me see I think I need stone bricks and then I need what two stone uh, stone brick slabs to make a chisel stone brick let's let's see I think I have some over here in these chests Let's go bake some in the old oven here. We'll go make some more stone. And you know what? I don't think I left any up on... I don't think I left my chests up here on the high point of this road. I think I was actually... 
actually a pro builder and I think I removed those after myself yeah I did okay all right because I had some chests here in which I was storing materials for the construction of this road and I was hoping I didn't leave them here and I didn't okay that's good that was real pro of you Thunderhand real pro but see then I went and I left this ridiculous chest over here and also I did this horrible eyesore of a green grass dais, dais right there which is just awful just awful everybody it's awful okay I'm going to empty this out while I'm at it too let's transfer some of the contents over into one of these other chests some of the things I know I'm not using uh, these I can bring back with me I'm not gonna bring that I'm not gonna be using any redstone I'm not gonna be in no coal back there no redstone no flint nah granite nah uh, these though cobblestone slabs no not really hmm slush and site slush probably not probably not stone slab maybe well I don't know no probably just probably just stone gravel no probably not actually none of the stuff right maybe just the polished andesite stairs it's probably all I should bring and then the regular andesite I'll bring those back with me all right, what else do we have in here? And then we can rip this up. And bring these chests back with us. There we go. Let's bring those back. That. Now, the little, the little shroomies. Let's put those in there. And, you know, let's see what we've got here. All right, let's try to remember how this goes. I think they go like that. Then like that. Here we are, just like that. Okay, we're in business. Okay, now if I'm not mistaken, what I actually wound up doing is let me see. I'm looking in, looking in Discord right now. I'm looking at my reference pictures. Oh, yeah. Okay, I did a little something like that. I think I got it. Okay. Let's take a look. Actually, you know what? These do not belong. No, they don't. And I know what to do there. But I'm going to lay down the bed here so we can have ourselves a little bit of a nap. Almost. Almost. Close enough. And we have some shears in here because I need to actually pull up two of these ferns. That's right. You know what's really cool is some of this isn't a uh, mushroom island biome, like right here. And so the ferns have changed color there a little bit. Notice how they're not. This is this is shroom field shore, but if you look at this one, this one's ocean. And so see how they're slightly different color. This one's also ocean. That's great. That's going to add some variety into the build. That's really cool. Okay, now, mind you, these will be lodestones. These will be lodestones after. All right, but we'll put chisel blocks in there for right now. Gonna need to get ourselves some netherite, everybody. Okay. And you know what? Uh, I've also pulled these back a little bit because I'm going to leave room for street for uh, street lamps, street lamps along the way here, and hitching posts for horses. So you can pull up with your horse like this, put your horse at the other. In fact, that's what this front area might wind up being, actually, is some area, uh, a hitching post for the horses. Yep. Pull up your horse, set him on the hitching post there. 
right? And then uh, head on inside and do your trading, come back out. I like it, I like it. Or maybe on the end here, maybe on the end where the bubble vader will be, uh, you'll see the bubble vader uh, with all its glass and stuff here on this end of the building because I'm going to try to make it as lo look as nice and decorative as possible because you'll see it from the spawn dais. Maybe over here is where you can come and park your horse and then head inside. I don't know. Maybe we'll just put it right here. So maybe all of this, you know, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to make it grass, but uh, <laughs> maybe this is where we wind up parking your horse here, you know, so you can head on inside. Yeah, maybe. Okay, you know what? I think at this point uh, we have enough established here where we can end the stream for tonight. I can do some stuff off camera because uh, I don't want it to get too late here. I can do some stuff off camera and then I'll be ready to head into the nether tomorrow and uh, I'll be all equipped and we can do some really cool stuff in there. All right. And so with that said, I think this is where I was initially. And I'm gonna have to be careful here where I do my outro lightning bolt because I don't wanna hit anything, any part of the new build. But we'll also take some screenshots too. In fact, let's, let's do a few screenshots right here before we get too started. Too started? Before we get ready to end the stream. Let's do this. And we don't need to go up too high. We can go up right about... Yeah, that's really good. I think right about there. We'll give ourselves a little bit of a screenshot like this. Uh, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Look at the Iron Golem. He says, oh, you think you'll get parkour skills? You ain't seen nothing yet. Okay. There's our scene, everybody. In fact, I'm going to pull away. I'm going to go right about here, just like this. And then I'm going to queue up my outro, which is right about there. Okay, everybody, so this has been Thunderhand64 coming at you from the Generations Minecraft Realm server on a Friday night. Knocking off a little bit earlier than I usually do. I like to make it a two-hour stream, start at about 8.30. It's almost 10.30 now. It's uh, it's 10.11, uh, you know, so close enough. Uh, I want to knock off a little bit early again. You may have heard me say just recently uh, that I want to do a little stuff off camera to prepare for a little trip into the nether tomorrow for our regular stream, uh, our scheduled stream at noontime on Saturday here on the West Coast. All right, and so with that, um, I would also like to remind you that we have another uh, scheduled stream, which is on Sunday. That's at 9 a.m. where uh, it's called Kachi time, and that's where me and my younger son, Kachi, we do all kinds of crazy Kachi things for about an hour. And Kachi says he wants to play um, Among Us. And so I also, tonight and tomorrow morning before our stream, I have to uh, download uh, Among Us. I have to set it up on our three PCs because Biggie might join us too. We'll see. And so uh, I'm going to have to get that done. Um, just remember these uh, weeknight streams. Well, weeknight, it includes Sunday too. Sunday through Friday uh, night streams are unscheduled streams. So um, watch your notifications followers so you can see where I'm streaming. Please come on in the chat. I'd like to give a little shout out to Take the 14 who decided to stop in tonight and uh, say hi and stuff. So, th so that's great. Thanks for supporting the stream. Greatly appreciate it. Come on back. You know, it's, I always enjoy chatting with you guys. Um, remember that we have, if you're unable to uh, attend the stream, uh, catch the video recap uh, recap on on our Twitch channel Thunderhand64 underscore gaming and um, they're up there for 14 days and then after that they will expire but uh, fear not because we archive them on our YouTube channel Thunderhand64 underscore gaming 2 and you can go see all of our past um, all of our past uh, stream videos on there uh, where they are preserved and archived for all time and so uh, uh, some of the really cool ones to watch are particularly uh, in particular are the first ones from uh, generations volume one 
which, you know, still we've been in early game here, you know. Uh, we're starting to get into the early mid game right now, middle game, and uh, we're advancing pretty fast. And so uh, still we've only been in here for a few weeks, maybe, maybe a month, maybe a month, about three or four weeks, about three weeks, we'll see. Um, but uh, check out those early streams uh, where we're just picking out the map and, and Biggie and Kachi and I are in here and huddling in caves and hiding from mobs. Uh, uh, I've died five times already, which is unbelievable. And I'm in a mushroom island biome. How thunder and what a noob, but I have. So um, also uh, make sure that you uh, check out our Instagram. That's thunderhand64 underscore gaming on our Instagram. Uh, I'm trying to post pictures up there, but it's really awkward to do so because all the pictures get saved on the PC. And then for the PC, I have to upload them to Instagram somehow. And it, it's, it's not easy. Um, or you know there's no direct way to do it so i have to download an app emulator and then uh, do it that way which i haven't done yet i guess i gotta get around to doing that but please uh make sure that you follow the instagram i do i do post some things on there so that would be really cool if you guys stopped in and uh, i do respond to you guys when you chat in there so make sure you stop by and uh, follow our instagram also we have a discord um channel that's in the uh, makes for the generations minecraft realm server um, and that's in the works and uh, when I'm ready to open that up to the public I'll announce it to you guys and we can all go in and we can have a chat and post things and stuff it'll be really cool it'll be a lot of fun so with that I would like to wish you all enjoy the rest of your evening your morning your afternoon wherever you happen to be and we will see you next time